Black Friday is the one day of the year that Apple can be counted on to offer discounts to its high price products. It's also the day a lot of consumers get faked out by the coy advertising leading up to the event. Almost inevitability it turns out that the discounts are nominal, with a few exceptions, and rarely on the most popular items. But after getting rigged up about the pending discounts, consumers still buy. Deep discounts? Ha! Huh. Unfortunately for bargain hunters well, all of us shoppers and other retailers seem to be borrowing this move from Apple's playbook this year. That is, they are breathlessly suggesting huge discounts will be available for Black Friday or Great Thursday, discounts that turn out to be anything but deep. The Wall Street Journal reported on this trend on Thanksgiving Day. Using data from Decide Incorporated, it found that many of the Black Friday advertised as doorbusters were available at lower prices at other times of the year. The Wall Street Journal's right, says Melanie R. Street. Jean, a marketing professor at Johnson & Wales University, the discounts we are seeing are not as good as some retailers would have you think. One strategy some retailers have taken is to buy lower quality merchandise at a very low price point and then mark it down slightly, she says. What they are doing is taking the moderate discount to make it look like a much lower price. The Dormister deals are also being offered during a shorter window of time this year, Street. Jean says. Black Friday is just not what it used to be. There are some exceptions to this. Walmart, which opened on Thanksgiving, offered shoppers three windows of door listing savings for the day, including better discounts on Apple products than Apple is offering. The Mastage move. Other retailers are emphasizing both value and luxury shopping. Street. Jean points to the Target Plus Nightmont Marcus holiday collection, calling it a very creative approach to Mastage I.E. bringing prestige products to the masses. Target also has an online price matching offer and the combo of the two approaches has given the retailer a big boost of confidence heading into the holiday sales season, according to its third quarter financials. Its estimated earnings for the fourth quarter clocked in higher than Wall Street analysts' estimates. Macy's as well is an old hand with this approach, borrowing the allure of celebrities to help market its product, Street. Jean says. Ah Rihanna's new fragrance launched on Black Friday at Macy's, as one example. Christmas Eve Consumers looking to score the best deals this season would do well to wait until the day before Christmas, says Tom Bliskook, chief retail strategist for Booz and Company. This weekend, he predicts, shoppers will save about 20% from the bargains, which, frankly, can be had at any point during the year with careful shopping. The bargains will be better closer to Christmas. Although chances are good the most popular products will have sold out, he says. Retailers have slimmed down their inventories a bit more this year.